G'day guys and girls, thanks for tuning in. Got here the brand new DeWalt brushless angled finish gun. Uh, second fix, 16 gauge, 20 degree nailer. Um, this is DeWalt's third brushless nail gun to their line to add to their uh, framing guns that they've already got, which heaps of guys use. I see them out on the site all the time. Um, and so DeWalt have added this one. This is, uh, they already had one on their previous 18 volt XRP line. Um, which uh, a lot of guys still use and really like. So this one's compatible with their new 18 volt slide battery line. Um, and uh, I'm hearing really, really good things from sellers and repairers um, so far as uh, how good this tool is. So first I'll just take you through a couple of specs. Uh, it takes 38 mil through to 63 mil nails. Um, it has obviously a sequential and a bump fire mode. 2.4 kilos um, without a battery, so maybe 2.8 with a slim battery. They come with two amp hour batteries, and you're usually gonna get probably a thousand nails plus on one of those slim, amp, slim batteries. So um, that's, I think that's really good. A lot of guys are gonna be happy with how much work they can get done um, between charges. Uh, it's got DeWalt's typical drill handle, um, so it feels really nice in the hand. You don't have to have massive hands to, uh, to feel comfortable using this unit. It is kind of large, um, you know, it's, it's a foot from front to back and about the same in height, but it doesn't feel too heavy and bulky to me for a battery nail gun. I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy with the, the form factor and the comfort level that they've got going with this tool. Couple of small things, got an LED light on either side of the base of the tool, so it lights up your work area really well. And it has a rafter hook um, to hang, oh, so not a rafter hook, a belt hook to hang on to your belt. Um, it's not large enough for rafters or noggins, but that doesn't really matter because it's a finished nailer and those won't be exposed when you're using it anyway, really. All right, now I'm gonna show you the tool up close because it's got some really nice features, all of which are tool free. Okay, so first up, you can see the switch on the bottom here. This changes the tool from bump mode to sequential fire, uh, back and forth quite easily. And uh, right next to it, you can see the nail magazine. Now uh, this takes 110 nails and uh, you get quite a lot of information on the front of the magazine there, or sorry, the back. Um, in particular, down the bottom, it tells you that if one of the LED lights flash, then it means that the battery is too low to power the, the gun. And if the other one flashes, then it means you need to click the stall release button uh, because the tool has stalled. Uh, and that is just at the top here. Very easy. Um, if that light's flashing, um, then uh, all you have to do is click that over and you will uh, release the stall on the tool. It's very, very simple. Um, back on the other side here, it's very easy to change the depth. All you have to do is roll this knob over and you will adjust the depth and you can see the, uh, the indicator over here moving as you roll that. So it's quite simple. It's also no tool needed to release a jam. It's very simple as popping that cover open and then you can open up that whole section very simply to get to any jammed nails in here. It really couldn't be easier. It's a really nice mechanism. Um, to, so it's super easy. Not that I've jammed the, the unit yet. But click the nails in through the bottom like you would always do. Push it in. It's a little bit stiff to go through. Once that's in, you can pull your nail pusher past it and it will click up. So just the same as any standard um, gas or pneumatic gun, LED lights. Yeah. Okay, so the big question, how does it perform? Uh, I tried this with the short nails, 38, and its longest nails, 63 millimeters. Uh, just DeWalt standard nails, uh, same as everyone's been using on the previous version of this. Um, and I'm really pleased to report that it, it's very consistent and very good. Um, the nail depth, um, it hits it over and over and over really, really consistently. Um, even on the angle, tried that as well, found the, the depth to be really consistent. Um, and I did not miss a nail, not even once. No jams, put in nearly a thousand nails. Um, no jams and didn't miss one except for when I ran the clip dry accidentally. Um, so really, really pleased about that. 
in terms of your clips, you can fit two full clips and a little bit. Um, so I like that. It's, uh, that's, I mean, you hope for that, but it, 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 uh, it's good. In terms of power, the, uh, the depth control certainly allows you to um, put just small nails into like pine boards. I used prime pine and uh, that was no problem. Um, dialing it right down to as deep as it can go, um, had no trouble putting those 38 mil nails through 19 mil Tasmanian oak on top of um, the stud. So pretty hard test and it just, it just punched them massively through. When I tried it with 63 mil nails, um, it stalled the tool. So that was a bit much for, for it to ask, and that is a big ask, uh, to go through 19 mil Tassie oak and then into the stud. Um, so, and, and it stalled a couple of times when I tried that, so that's beyond its capability. But um, it did the 38 so easily that I would imagine it does, would do 50 mil nails through that 19 mil Tassie oak really easily. But as for your regular baseboards and architraves, um, skirting, you know, all that sort of stuff, I don't think you're gonna have any trouble even going through the hardwood uh, moldings because uh, it really has a lot of power. If you use a finish nailer, you're gonna like this because no air, no hoses, you don't need any lubrication, it doesn't even really need any servicing. It's just an easy tool to pick up and use every day. I've heard really good things, as I said, from sellers um, and from the repair guys. Um, so I have no qualms at all endorsing this as a genuinely a groundbreaking tool. Um, and uh, I think a lot of guys are gonna get a lot of years out of use, of use out of this. This is the type of tool that will convert people over to DeWalt's platform, I think. Um, the carpenters are really gonna be liking this tool, so. That's all I got to say on it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, please comment and subscribe. Um, tell me what you think and tell me what you want to see next. Thanks a lot. Bye.